Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire and today we're gonna get a defect ascension run. I've been practicing. I hope oh my goodness, I just checked actually <laughs> my my win percent with this character. And it's like 13%. Oh man, he's so difficult, especially if I keep doing ascension runs, but I did do alright off camera on Ascension level 6 a couple of times, so I'm hoping that I do better here. Uh, better deck building mechanics, I guess. Uh, a little bit smarter with that, but still pretty difficult. I'm, I'm seeing this over here. Ooh, that looks so nice. It looks really nice. We just have to get to the first elite pretty safely, though. And there's a lot of enemies around, so I'm a little spooked because of that. I'm going to take the gold because there's a shop. Perhaps that will be great. Um, as much as I hate to do it, dual cast is amazing there because it gets him low enough. Uh, hit him once. We'll take one damage. It's not the end of the world since we are starting with a little bit less HP and dual cast will actually do it there. So, should have probably, uh, blocked twice, but it's fine. I'm liking... I don't want to go for Streamline, because every time I have gone for Streamline, it's bitten me right back in the butt. So I'm going to go with Cold Snap, mainly because it's not the worst card in the world, honestly. I mean, you got to dual cast. With that with that low HP, you have to do 16 damage, because you're no way uh, your one zap's going to get that much damage in. And, I mean, he does die now, so that was a great option for me. Um... Okay, so... Tempest is... No, I mean, we gotta go Sleeping Beam. We need some crowd control in here. Crowd control is really nice for this character. Okay, so... This is where it gets interesting. Really weird. I don't know if I want anything here. That's the thing. I mean, Juju Bracelet is alright. It guarantees that we'll be safe in question mark rooms. And I think I am gonna take that. Because... We need more guarantees with this class. Great card. Gonna tell you right now. Fantastic card. Um, I don't feel confident enough killing one of them, so I'm just gonna block up twice and take two. I'll take two. I'll take two. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, get them out of here. Sorry, my really crappy accent. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> FTL is okay. It's free and you get an extra draw if you do it earlier. Okay, I mean, I did see Trip's upgrade. It's actually really nice. Vulnerable to all enemies is pretty fantastic. <coughs> Sorry, I just had some uh, delicious foods. I don't... I don't know. See, what do we have going on right now? I don't know. We don't have any crazy cards that kind of say, hey, this is the type of deck that you want. So I don't think we take anything. Because I really should be thinking about deck mechanics and... Oh boy, I hope this is not a mistake. This guy is one of the worst guys to fight on planet earth it's a good time to throw a zap uh, before skills actually suck to play this is great to get out there um you know what take six damage with the possibility yeah he's doing 24 damage now which is kind of sucky it's kind of super sucky um 13 so you'll be at nine <gasps> oh my goodness, we're going to have the perfect amount of damage. Oh, we have the perfect amount of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Regal Pillow is great with this uh, guy as well. Whenever we play a power draw card, we don't really have that going for us right now. And I don't feel like boot sequence is very useful either. So I'm just going to skip this one again. Don't think it's all that useful. And I'm going to smith up actually and get a free zap. I know we're at like 59 HP, but still, I mean, it's only 15, 16 HP away from cap. That's a great card. Great crowd control over here. Uh, well, we're going to go for this guy, even though, I mean, I probably won't be able to do 25 damage, but there's always a chance, right? Right? I mean, there's no chance, but... <laughs> okay, I'm telling you right now, let's not throw a dual cast out there and just block and hit him once. We're going to get hit by a, for a little bit, for six, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, we should have gone for the middle guy now that I think of it. Um, it's fine. I'm just going to get one guy out of the way for now. 
see how much we have a lot of dazed i i really don't want that much dazed, so i feel like it's good to kind of get rid of that so we don't get two more dazed in the deck however we're still going to get a lot of dazed in the deck so we can do 18 damage to this guy and there's a good possibility okay that too that works completely fine I forgot that we actually evoked an orb right there, so yeah, no, I'm happy with this. And we get Toxic Egg early, which is a big pickup, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a reason to take Claw, but at the same time, there's a reason to ignore it. You know what? I think we take it. I know the past two runs we've taken Claw, and it's kind- it's almost worked out for us. Almost. Well, let's throw up a block so we don't take that much damage, but I don't like I don't like this guy making me frail. It really hurts. Probably should have played that first, but I mean we will get it anyway. Hmm, yeah, we won't take any damage. That guy should be dead next turn. We are gonna get frail for a while, which kinda sucks, but I do like getting that out there. I know claw is kind of not the most useful thing right now. Uh we probably really should have dual casted one of those, but it's okay. We'll still get him, right? Right? Yeah, we're, we're, we're good. We're fine. So yeah, we'll see if Claw actually works out good for us. I mean, you gotta take a free Seek. An uh, upgraded Seek uh, at that. Okay, um... You see if a Relic become cursed with regret. I think I'm actually gonna do that. Oh, and it's the, one of the worst things. We don't become cursed too, so that's great. We're coming up against this guy. I'll tell you what, we're not going to rest up because I am going to use my regen potion in there. So, smith, I almost like completely skipped the smith. Yeah, it's probably not the smartest decision there. That being 5 is pretty nice. Instantly being 5 is great, but what we really need is some more draw. I mean, this being upgraded is great as well. FTL does... Um, if you have... Oh, less than 4 cards. That's not super important because we're not drawing a whole bunch... This being upgraded is pretty good too, but I mean, if we're going to do that, we're going to do Sweeping Beam because that does damage to all enemies. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope it's not a big mistake. Mind Blast, there's a reason to take it and there's a reason to... Oh, ignore it. Sorry, my nose is doing something really weird. Like, what the hell? Oh my goodness, what is happening? What is wrong with me? Well, I don't even know. It's like there's a big bubble in there that hurts. <laughs> Sorry, I had to describe it like that, but, you know, it's the truth, okay? Um, Chaos. It's great. I think I'm actually going to take a pass here, because we have a, a lot of channel, to be honest. It's a decent amount of channel. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I will do it. Because we could get zap next turn. So I'm going to dual cast now. See if this works out good for us. We should have drank this up. Don't know why I didn't. I mean, we're going to throw zap out there regardless. So, and sweeping beam. Um, Yeah, we're going to get hit for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's actually worth it playing for two strikes. As much as I kind of want to. Seek. We can bring... Uh, what do we bring back? We don't have a lot of block. That's the problem. I'd like some more block. Maybe sweeping beam and claw? I mean, sweeping beam's nice for the extra draw. And claw is okay too. But let's get FTL actually. I know it's free, but oh dude, we get claw from it anyway. So I'm really happy now. Hmm, still not a great time to pop this potion. We're gonna get hit for quite a bit. Only six, actually, never mind. Not quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, awful time to play anything there, so... A little upsetting. This is really kind of sucky, though. Five damage. Oh, these do five damage. Nice! Okay, I'm happy. Uh, well, I really do want to take a defragment, and upgrading it is really useful, but man, everything else is pretty nice, but that's what I'm going to do. Two upgraded strikes. Wow. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, so we're going to go up against this turn. It's 
fine. We do get zap right away, or claw, rather. We can just basically play our hand right here. Gonna get slimed. Not a huge fan. Fortunately, he's gonna be really close to the splitting point. Six damage. Uh, this is great to get on him. Seek. We can't seek because of bad things. Well, I guess we're gonna get Capacitor down right away. Which is okay. Oh, uh, gosh. These guys kind of suck. Well, I do want Sweeping Beam. And I feel like Cold Snap could be decent. Or let's just get Claw right away. Uh, I hope this isn't a mistake. I mean, just get a bunch of slime too. That's okay. See, you're gonna be. You're gonna split at what? Like 20. Man, my nose is really messed up. Uh, 25 plus 4. Wow, dude, my nose. So, 29. Um, if lightning hits you, you do split, so might as well play it safe. Hopefully, lightning hits you now. It does, so that's perfect. Dual cast is great. I'll throw it out there. It did hit this guy, which I'm a little upset about. I'm kind of a lot of upset about, actually. Um, uh, yeah, good lightning actually hit him. That's what I was hoping for. I mean, if we if we went all out for that, I might as well. But since he was splitting, it's like... I really just want to get rid of him. Well, let's get rid of one of these guys. I know I'm going to take a little bit of damage, three. But I want these guys out of the way, because I think they do more damage. Maybe not. There's my sweeping beam, though. That's what I was looking for. Here's some good stuff for me. I guess it really doesn't matter who we go for. And might as well throw this out there. So we'll take minimal amount of damage. Only one. I'm okay with this. Uh, hmm. You guys kind of suck. Might as well guarantee one being dead. I know there's a good chance of the other one dying too, but... It's fine. Oops! Clicking out. Gotta love it. We do get, oh man, Echo Form is great, but we don't have a guaranteed way to play it. Not yet, at least. The first card you play, I mean, I might as well take it. And uh, Philosopher's Stone sucks. It really does, I'll be honest, because I don't want to go against the birds. Because we would just get absolutely decimated there. Obtain one card, upgrade one random card. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. But I'm gonna go for the Philosopher's Stone! Let's just hope we don't go against any birds. Sorry about that. That was an awful singing. I don't want to do that again. Alright, uh... Wow. So I'm looking at... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are you doing to me? Stop this. I'll tell you what, we might hit right here and then choose to go for a safer elite or one of those guys in elite. And then we can choose there and we can do up to three if we go that way. If we're not feeling as confident, we can still hit up three, but not as safely. Uh, it's, it's a weird decision, but I'll decide when I get there. Great time for that. Fantastic time for that, actually. Good thing we got Philosopher's Stone going for us. I, f <laughs> I say that, and I completely forget to use it. Like a freaking Nimrod. Okay, let's get two of those out there. We do get Seek, which I like. I like me a Defrag, and honestly a Cold Snap. So Defrag, Cold Snap him. So we're getting a little bit of block coming for us. Uh, maybe it was a good time to throw Energy Potion out there. Oh, right. That does it twice, because I'm a f genius. Uh, I mean, you're dead. I shouldn't take, like, it shouldn't take that long to think of that. We have to take self-repair because that's really nice. It's just so nice. Uh, Power Attack and Tropic Brew. We've got to take at least one of those. If we can get, like, Potion Belt, that'd be really nice. And discard this for, we really like Power Potions with this guy. And we don't really need an Attack Potion. 
These guys, this is the one thing I was worried about. Oh my god, you're doing a lot of damage. Oh. Get you out of the way. Like, never want to see your face ever again. Oh my god. Buffer. It sucks so bad. Probably one of the worst cards. For this situation. It's just straight awful. Wow. Um, and of course, like, I'm still gonna get... Oh, such trash plays. Seriously, that... Di di oh my god, Philosopher's Stone is the worst relic on planet Earth. Oh my goodness. I played amazing. I played the best I possibly could there. It's just that Philosopher's Stone sucks for that fight. Just the worst. Lose all gold, obtain a random relic. I might do that. Because there is a shop there. And there's an elite there. You can... Uh, I mean, pause. There's a, this is a weird looking map, though. They're all kind of like slanting. Kind of like northwest there. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. It just looks trippy to me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um... Yeah. I mean, if you go for this guy, pretty much, like, stuck in that. I think we try. I think it's okay. We'll obtain... Oh, random rare relic, though. Yeah, I'll do it. Lose all gold. Oh, ice cream. <laughs> Possibly the best relic in the entire game. Possibly. I didn't say guaranteed. But it's it's up there. It's up there with the greats. Therefore, streamline, not the worst thing in the world, I think. God damn, why do you suck so bad? I mean you don't suck. Sorry, you're you're great. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Um Is that 10 HP already? It should be done. I just need to do 10. Hey, there we go. There we go. I'm liking the, the start of this. Uh, actually, I'm really liking the start of this. Go for the eyes is alright. However, is it alright enough for me to take? I think so. I think free cards are actually decent with this deck. Upgrade a card. Ah, I'm gonna go for a free zap. I need some more free cards. Wow. What are you doing to me? Oh, honey. We got so lucky. I was risking it so hard. And let me tell you what, we lucked out big time. And thank God we have ice cream to actually do some good here. Uh, stream is great. However, you're gonna weaken me again? What if I just say no and kill you? <laughs> that works too. Ah, charge battery is really good with ice cream. Like, really, really, really good. Like, one of the best cards in the world. Not really. Um, let's actually not play dual cast. Hmm. I'm kind of worried if that was a bad mistake or not, but... You know what? I've stuck with my decision. Great plays. I think I'm just gonna block up here. Try not to take as much damage. Let's see if we can get out of this fight taking minimal. That's great. I like getting him out of the way. And we do still have uh, one energy left over, which I love. It'd be cool if with ice cream, like, this will not say, like, four out of three. It would be four and then just, like, plus three at the end of each turn. I don't know. Small things like that, I think of. All right. Ice cream's doing us real well. It's, it's good with, like, having a million days, but... Nah, yeah, it's decent because we're actually, like, gaining a whole bunch from this turn. Because we get rid of three days and we only have one left over. Yeah, we're fine. Let's do this. Hopefully it kills one of them. It doesn't. But, I mean, we, we'll, we'll get the kill, so we're fine. Or Chalcom is amazing. Amazing get. And one for all might be pretty great here. However... Yeah, let's get one for all and, like, start stocking up on some, uh... And we're gonna rest here too. And start stocking up on like some zero cost cards perhaps, because 
So your cost cards are probably going to look pretty great here. I mean, might as well hit him. I know I was thinking about playing something there, but it's fine. Okay, decent play to play all these defends, although we won't have a lot of energy next turn. This is great. We can actually weaken him with this, so might as well. Wait, we, our, our entire hand kind of just redrew itself, never mind. But now it's not a good time to play defend. Because we have Or Chalicum in the background, and that would do more immediately. Uh, streamline, you gotta do... You don't really need to play Charge Battery. I mean, this is like a free block, actually. It really, it turned into a free block. Because the one energy carries over, kind of a free block. It's a little goofy. So we can take him down to 10? Eesh. Eesh, it's not enough. Might as well hit him here, and the next turn we can kill him. Taking 10 damage in the meantime, but it's fine. Um, hmm, conserve battery, free 7 block in a way. It'd be cool if the upgrade was free. That'd be pretty OP, though. I'll admit. Deal 7 damage, draw 1 card for each unique orb you have. And the upgrade for that is 10 damage. Honestly, I'm kind of liking the deck we have now. So I'm gonna keep it that way. Hopefully that's not a huge mistake. And we're gonna totally take on, like, all of the good stuff here. Um, it's, but this turn kind of hurts. Yeah, yeah. At least we can weaken him here. One for all doesn't do much. However, charge battery is nice. Might as well one for all, right? Weaken him for two turns and he won't do damage and hopefully we can do 12 damage here. I don't see why we couldn't, especially if we have dual cast. Fear potion, great. Uh, sweeping beam is also all right. We need some crowd control in here. And we are going to rest up at this first one at least. And we might take a leap. Yeah, I'll take a leap for us. I think it's alright. We do have... Mm, man. It's an interesting build I'm making here. Receive a relic or become cursed. And become cursed. Uh, I hate that so much. Honestly, I'm going to try it. And we do get anchor, which is actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of glad it took that. One for all being upgraded is 14 damage to everything. Streamline upgrade is great. Dual cast being free is also pretty good. And since we have some like zero cost synergy going for us, I feel like that's an alright upgrade. And we can upgrade another card right away, so... I mean, streamline being better is fantastic. So I think I'm going to do that. And we can upgrade again. You know what? 10 block is not enough. This being upgraded to 12 block is pretty good. All for one does more damage. I mean, I do like this. It's a great card, but I mean, like, eh, eh. Might as well play this since it's just free stuff for each card in your hand. I know I'll take two damage. I hate it, but ice cream. Hey. Good, we have Zap and Dual Cast in there, so might as well all for one him. There we go, there's my Zap, here's my Dual Cast. Take basically like a free card. Just hit him. Go go at it. We probably should have feared him now that I think of it. Would have been pretty decent of a play. Might as well just do it now. Ooh. Ooh. Take no damage or do some damage. I think I'm, we're just going to go all out to do some damage. Oh, right. We have Orchalcum as well. Almost forgot about that. That's a fantastic card. Fantastic play. Six times two. We're not going to play the defend then. We're just going to go out on them. We're only going to take six damage, which is not awful. Zap, all for one, is fantastic here because we got a free streamline now. Oh, my goodness. Again, defend. Really don't want to play that. Really in an awful play. And we should be able to kill him. 15 HP is nothing. Except when it's something, you know? <laughs> oh, that's so goofy. But it's fine. We have dual cast in here, and he's done from that. 
Steroid potion, not the best thing in the world. Thunder, oh, I mean, we don't really have a thunder build, do we? We only have one zap in here. Machine learning is so good, too. So we'll take a machine learning, okay? You have two fewer cards to choose from. Honestly, I think it's a decent relic. I, I, mean, I know, like, we won't have a lot of choice. Building a deck is going to be harder, but at the same time, one energy goes so far. Especially with ice cream. Like, it goes beyond. We might hit up this guy. We can hit up... Fire Elite... Fire chest elite. Oh, that's a decent path, actually. We can take on two elites here. Alternative, we can take on four, but it's hella dangerous. So I think I'll just take on two and maybe this shop up here. Like, that's a decent play. It's a great time for machine learning, let me tell you what. Go for the eyes. Thank you for existing, I guess, but... Seven block. I might as well just block here, right? We'll have five energy next turn anyway, which is fantastic. This is great, and we can all for one, and I don't know, anything would kill him. Let's go. Stack. Do I want to stack? I don't think so. I think that's an awful choice. This is good because it kind of forces me to use Singing Bowl. <laughs> less, less options, right? You feel better about your choices. Choose one of 20 cards to add. I feel like that's okay. Maybe, mm, man, white noise is so nice. It is really nice, but at the same time, mm, you know what? I'm going to do it. White noise is great. I, I'm not going for repair because I feel like we're okay, maybe, perhaps. Mm, I hope so. I really hope so. Oh, this is a great panache is going to be really good for this deck. Tell me right now, it's an, oh, and life fruit, hey. Don't really need this, tell you what, right now, I'll take me a life fruit for all of our money. I like the five extra HP. Paying 100 for five extra HP, eh, it's, it's fine, right? Great, great turn. Not taking any damage, we're getting a bunch of good stuff for us too. Except right now. Yeah, we're gonna take a... Oh, God, we're gonna take a beating. Give me more cards. There's machine learning. Uh, why, where were you a million years ago, man? There's my dual cast again. We we're getting a lot of damage on him, but he's doing a little bit to me. A lot of it to me. I'm not happy about that. I do get capacitor from this, which is like, eh. Doesn't really do too much, I'll be honest. Good. Panache doing his job. I will take a claw, though. Claw is great, because we do have kind of like a free deck synergy going on here. And I will take a hologram too, because we can bring back something like Claw. These guys suck a lot. But we do have Sweeping Beam. Storm, good. Not the worst thing in the world. Might as well get this out there, because hey, enable it for the future. So if we play it one more time, it works with all for one. Might as well get that on him, but at the same time, like... Might as well hit him once and not take damage. And we'll have five over for next turn as well. Gosh, these guys suck a lot. Yeah. Uh, yep. You're done. You're... I really hope you're done. Oh, thank you, Panache. Doing your job here. Hologram back. Possibly a streamline. Definitely a streamline because that does 20 damage to you. And it is free next turn, so yeah, that's really nice. There's my conserve battery. Wait, do we have? Well, oh right, we got storm from white noise. I was like, wait, what? Why do I have that? Might as well just do some damage here. Yeah, definitely should have because I mean we had the curse too. So I mean, you guys are kind of dead. Lightning helps. Go for the eyes is nice here. Oh, Panache. Oh, you're beautiful. Eight damage is nothing. Or eight HP, rather. Thank you. And Jira is actually a really cool find. Do I want... I mean, I might want that. That's the thing. Nah, I'll take the two HP. I don't think I need that. That's the thing. I want it, but do I need it? Honestly. Honestly, it's so goofy. It's so goofy. We're at 59 HP. It's not the worst in the world. Bag of prep is kind of 
not the best in the world either. And I will go for this elite. And it's one of the worst elites on planet Earth. Like Discharge is actually good against him. Funny enough. Uh, might as well throw Sweeping Beam out there, see what we get. Because her battery is just decent. Throw a strike at him. We're not going to take any damage, which is fantastic. Might as well just see... We just need to get rid of him as soon as possible. That's the thing. All for one. Fantastic here. Claw. Go for the eyes, which is awesome. Dual cast does nothing, does it? Yeah. Might as well just play our hand here. We're going to get hit for one. At least we get a lightning from that. So it's not completely worthless. 24 damage is kind of a lot. I'm going to try to block for as much as I can, but yeah. Here's my panache. Lightning. Throw that out there. Might as well conserve battery. Conserve battery again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can stop doing damage. It's preferred. There we go. Potion belt. There we go. And I will take a steam bearer. I feel like that's okay. Definitely going to heal up. No doubt about that. Do I take fusion? No, I don't think so, since it's not even upgraded. Don't think it's worth my time there. Sweeping beam, great. Let's get some for free. We don't. Ha ha ha. It's fine, though. I mean, might as well do some damage here, right? We're going to get hit by a lot, though, because of that curse, which hurts. Like, a lot. Clearly. Okay, one of you is almost dead. Uh, all for one might be decent. So we do get a lot of stuff for free here. Even Claw, which is great. Oh, uh, wow, really shouldn't have played that. I totally forgot we get days from this guy. I always do that. I just kind of just, like, throw everything out there. Might as well do this. And you know what? Just take no damage, even though we're going to get a lot of days, which I really hate. And I got to get a lightning out there, too. We're going to have a lot of days. Uh, did I need to play that? Oh, well, I did. 40 damage! Come on! Well, to only do 20. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. It kinda hurts. Well, might as well play that then. And, and and this. You know, he's he's dead next turn, which is fine, but like we took a huge beating. A, a gigantic beating. Explosive potion I'll take. And just give me the max HP, please, for the love of God. Okay, this is gonna be dangerous. Give me another claw, thank you. And I'm out. I'm out, don't want any more of that. These guys are a pain in the ass. Tell you right now. Might as well conserve battery. Why? I don't know. Gives me an extra energy next turn? I mean, I would have gotten that anyway. Hmm. Yeah, you guys kind of hurt. Might as well actually throw this out there to get rid of you. Six block or five block. I know I'm getting some of this. I should pay attention to that more. God, you give me the weak, which hurts. We do get all this stuff back, which I enjoy. Thoroughly. Uh, you know what? Just calm down, how about? Calm down. I don't want these dazed. For the love of God. We're going to be so low. Oh my lord, this is awful. Recursion. Give me the max HP. Recursion is eh. Jeez, we're so low. Hologram's decent, okay? We're gonna die right now, I'm telling you. This is bad. We're so low, and this guy's gonna just wreck us. What is happening? I'm I'm tabbing out and everything. All for one, might as well get a zap, go for the eyes back. Um 
Let's just get some zaps. I mean, it does a decent amount of damage. Honestly, give me another go for the eyes so he's weak for an extra two turns. Or an extra one turn, perhaps. Good, getting this out there. He's gonna do a lot of damage, though. Might as well just try to get stuff off on him. Man, we're weak, though. Yeah, might as well. We're gonna get hit, though. We're gonna get nailed. Dude, we're already at 28 HP. There's no way. There's no possible way. Give me a loop, sure. Sweeping beam. Decent. Get me a claw back. But, like, look how low we are, okay? 11 HP, and he hasn't even done his super yet. And what is happening? Windows, stop that. Ah, 22 HP. Don't think we can actually block for that much, so... I mean, it is 16. Wow, we're actually going to block for that much. That's super goofy. That never happens. But we didn't really do a lot of damage that turn. And you're doing a million damage, so if we can do just 100 damage right now to you, that'd be preferred. But, like I said, don't think I'm going to do 100 damage to you. Heck darn, brother. Brutal. Brutal, man. One of the worst... I hate that boss fight so much. I die so many times on Ascension against him. But, you know what? That's just how this game is. It's difficult. And, I mean, it can't be too easy or else that would not be fun. You, you get a sense of accomplishment once you beat one of these. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I'll be seeing you in the next one.